Well, that's it, everybody. Let's pack it up. Let's go home. Crypto is completely dead. Bitcoin is going back to $3,800. XRP is going back to $0.11. Cents. HBAR is going back to a penny. And Quant is going back to $3. Well, that's complete nonsense, obviously. We can see the rhetoric coming out today. I'm going to make this video extremely short and hopefully maybe provide a little bit of value. Again, not financial advice. Uh, this is just my opinion. But after, you know, we see a correction and a back test, which I posted on Patreon this morning, you know, you start to see the news articles come out. Bitcoin is getting closer to posing a risk to financial stability, the Bank of England's deputy governor warns. There was another article that came out today stating basically that China is once again cracking down on crypto mining. I'm not even going to get really into any of that. I'm just going to make this quick. Um, you look at the total crypto market cap. <clears throat> I know Blockchain Backer did a video a little while ago about this as well. Right now, we're basically seeing a back test. You know, if we come down to the candle bodies here, we're looking at $2.416 trillion market cap. Uh, currently, we're sitting at, you know, 2.599 trillion dollars. But you know, there may be a little bit of pain left. There may not be. This could be the back test that kind of uh, allows us to maybe have a little bit of a bump, a little bit more consolidation in that blow off. Again, this is on the weekly. Uh, if we look at Bitcoin, again, keeping this video extremely quick. Um, I still have the log growth curves pulled up, which shout out to Crypto Crew University for these. You know, this is the history of Bitcoin right here. You can look at what happens when we break above this median line, which I've highlighted blue. Hopefully it's blue because I'm colorblind. Um, touch base on these FIB levels, uh, correct back down to the 50 EMA, break above the 21 EMA, which is the yellow. The 50 is the, the other color of blue, <laughs> the other shade of blue. Um, we come up and actually, you know, kind of touch base on the peak here. We consolidate all the way down at the bottom. This is just one really, really simple metric. We did break above the median line here, similar to what we did in 2013, which this FIB level right here in April 2013, we touched base in April of uh, 2021. Interestingly enough, you know, we broke above here. Well, look where we're at right now. We're right back above the median line again, which is in blue. And... Interesting where these wicks shake out. People say that charting doesn't work whatsoever, which is fine. They can believe whatever whatever they want to believe. I mean, the wick of this candle literally touching base right on the median line. So until we break below this thing, I am still bullish. Um, you can obviously utilize other metrics if you want to, but you're always going to see news after the case of price action and never the other way around unless you're an XRP holder, which we all know how that shook out with the SEC uh, suing uh, Ripple for selling quote unquote unregistered securities. We're going to see how that plays out. And on that note, Ripple puts out a document today, a real approach to cryptocurrency regulation, Ripple's vision for how existing financial regulatory frameworks can be utilized to advance innovation and enhance consumer and market protections. I will post this link for this document in the video itself. Hope you guys don't mind the short video, just a quick update. Right now, I'm not worried about anything. Again, not financial advice whatsoever, but um, yeah, we keep moving on. Um, actually, interestingly enough, there's that picture of 2017 crypto investors on a roller coaster that is going uh, directly next to a roller coaster with 2021 crypto investors. Uh, the 2017 ones look like ghouls or like zombies or something like reaching out. The 2021 ones look just like human beings that are terrified. I would say buckle up and just and, you know ensure you're not investing into unsustainable parabolic moves to the upside. I try never to buy anything anywhere near all time high. Um, I try to use simple metrics to be buying into digital assets. Kevin Cage talks about that all the time as well. You know, if you're holding utility right now and you bought in a little bit earlier within that utility, for me, I'm still holding those assets. I'm not touching them right now until, until they get to valuations that I'm comfortable with. And if you're speculating, that's fine. But speculating at, you know, into parabolic movements to the upside, you know, is is not the move to be making, in my opinion. So this is not the end. And even if this were to be the end, cryptocurrency, the market cap of crypto as a whole, utility wise, is going to swallow almost every traditional asset. Um, 
in the entire financial sector and not not even financial assets. It's going to swallow everything. So keep a level head. Don't buy into hype, in my opinion, and just understand where we're at and understand that they want people out. And I still think that we have a little bit of room for the upside. I could be wrong. Uh, I still think we need that move to the parabolic top, which I've talked about before. You can see it in some of my previous videos. Uh, I'm using different metrics than Blockchain Backer and some of these other guys that, that are way better at TA, but I just like keeping things as simple as possible. Uh, my metrics may show that the, show that it's higher, but it is what it is. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and thank you. If you did, like and subscribe. It, it really does help.